Hi friends, welcome back to Arc Tutorials. This is HTML and CSS interview question answer series. Today's question is, what is a CSS selector? This is a very basic question that uh, is expected that most of the junior developers or in fact for that matter mid uh, level developers should be knowing. So the answer is CSS selector is a string that identifies the elements to which a particular declaration apply. It is also referred as a link between HTML document and a style sheet, right? How do we, this is how the elements will know uh, how to apply what kind of style to a particular element. It's an equivalent of HTML elements in terms of CSS. Now there are different types of selectors in CSS, right? Like for example, you can select an element with a class name, with an element, selector, ID, group, etc. Let me show you a couple of them in action so that you'll be confident in answering them. So this is an example you see here. I have a HTML. Let's say you have a simple, any HTML, right, tag. Let's say I'm using div. I'm giving class, right? So here you can use this class as a selector to style this particular div, right? So let's put that. Okay, so and now in your uh, CSS, just add the dot C1, right? So dot C1 means it's referring that wherever there is class name, apply that style. Let me show you that in action. So here you are, this is a class selector. It has, um, it has the um, background, which is aquamarine, right? Now you can apply this to multiple things. Let's say, for example, you want to add a paragraph, right? Now you refresh, now it doesn't have any style. Just give the C1 and now you will see that it's applied, right? So this is using style selector, which is class, right? This is a class selector. Now similarly, you can give something called ID and say two. And to define, you'll use C2. So remember class is always with dot, IDs are with hash. So give something that you would want, any color that doesn't matter, right? And now go ahead and refresh your page. Now you see two different colors, right? Uh, purple and the aquamarine. That's because this is class selector and this is um, ID selector. Now, similarly, we can have something called universal. Right, so this is a universal. What does universal mean? It means it will apply to everything. So I can just say uh, a, right? So what this means is that now it will, wherever there is an A anchor tag, it will always be this color, right? So if you throw in a link here, it's of this blue color. Similarly, if you create one more, I have not given any class or ID to this. It's just a universal selector and the color is blue. So now both links will be of the same color and behavior. That's called as a CSS selector. Whenever you are asked on any of the question on this, make sure that you give some example with class or ID or group or universal, right? That's always a good practice. Don't just define or give theory answers. Always make sure you give some code example. Thank you so much for joining. Keep learning, keep growing. I'll keep bringing you more interview questions for you. Thank you so much for joining. See you in the next episode.